Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how you can save hours per week with this simple shortcut. In this video I'll show you step by step how to set it up. If you're already using the shortcut app, you can check up the description. I put the link for the shortcut. And no worries if you're completely new or beginner to the shortcut app. I hope at the end of this video you will understand the shortcut app a little bit better. Let's go. Why the shortcut? During the day you have probably 1000 thoughts and ideas that you want to capture. And of course you capture them someplace. It's getting very messy sometimes and you have to spend hours and hours to organize every item to some list or to-do list or whatever you will capture. Okay, let's check it out what exactly the shortcut do. We have here three windows, capture, thoughts and ideas and shopping list. These two left and right, they are from Reminders app and this in the middle is uh, from Apple Notes. Let's check what typical thoughts will come in mind. We have something, okay. then you can see it's pop in the direct organized to the milk section. Let's check what we have. I have a video idea, make video about Macbook and then you see it's here. Another example, just random thought, pay the bill. Now you see it's completely automatically organized the different items. Let's check it out how the shortcuts look like. Don't be afraid, uh, it looks maybe complicated if you see it first time, but it's not complicated at all. I will be here to do it like step by step with you. Next thing I want to do, we will do it together, all right? I will just delete the shortcut. Before we start, open the notes app and just create a new note. You can call it ideas and then open reminders app create a new list shopping list demo i will call it and pro tip if you use the shopping list feature in reminders so it will automatically sort the items and categories we will see it later let's move it up here we are ready to go okay next you will open the shortcut app and then you will create a new shortcut. Just click on the plus button here. And okay, we have now Apple Notes and Reminder. You can search here in the right side for Reminder and look for the item at New Reminder. It's up here. So we need two of them. Just drag and drop. And second is Notes. And you want to update existing note. The thing is this one. You can click on the information button, the text editor. Okay, this is what we need to add. All right, so we have the basics. Now is the fun part. We need to choose different items where the items will sort. For the capture, we have capture, we will stay no alarm. And for add reminders in, then you will shopping list demo in my case for your case you have maybe shopping list no alert for the notes we will select the ideas note and this is the first setup we go to the right corner here and ask for input we will drop it as well we put it up for the ask for text we can write the prompt what question they will ask the shortcut if you open it. Uh, we go some basics. What do you want to capture? Then we have it set it up. Okay, next step. We will add some condition. We will add some if statement. Stay with me. It sounds maybe complicated, but it's very easy. We have like ask for input. We will put our if statement there. And next we will put the note here. If statement we need like a condition if something happened do something else here for this case we will go contains 
and then you enter your text. For me as example, for video ideas I have this shortcut for me. Let's test if it's already working. Let's move this one over there. You click on the play button here and yeah. Right. We have some output. Let's check it out. Okay, we have here. This good. This one we will eliminate later. Let's just keep doing our work here. I make some changes to see things more clearly. I switch to light mode. Even if my eyes burning now, we will do it. I will do it for you guys. Let's go. I forgot one important step. Give it a name. Next, we want to add some conditions here. The first thing you want to do is right click, insert the variables and provide it input. And you can do it for... Let's run what happened if you don't type V, E in the beginning. It's good. We have it in... It's working and have already in two... This is a good sign. Now we have to add some filters to make it more efficient. What I want to do, we will add another if statement inside of its statement. Sounds complicated, but stay with me, we will do it. We put shopping list and again it contains, I will use B for buy because most of the time you want to buy something in the shopping list. And this one we put here in otherwise. Let's check it out. Milk. Oh, okay, it's working. Now this is great. And you remember I mentioned set it as shopping list. You can see it's automatically put it in the right category. You've saved time as well. Basically, we have our basic structure now we will do we need to add some filters what we want to do we want to get rid of what we're writing in the beginning we will use the replace text replace text so you will drop it just drag and drop and replace what we want to replace is this one we leave this empty and next you will click here right click and upload a text now let's test it out if it's working we'll run it again let's go test oh perfect we have this one eliminated great next we will do it for our shopping link section okay again replace text we have it already here you will put it here in same like we did it before you will replace your shortcut with empty you don't have to type anything and here again updated text and let's try it out bx Oop. shopping links okay very good we're making progress it's exciting <laughs> let's go we will add one more if statement over here so we can put it here delete this one over here okay and then condition is does not contain and then we will add b and provided input now we have everything set up we have to test our system but before we have to set up a shortcut for our shortcut if you click here on this information button and add keyboard shortcut and let's i'll use com control space you can choose for your own personal preference and use quick action service menu and you can add to pin to menu bar it's really up to you yeah we are finished great job okay now is the time final exam for our shortcut okay we set it up shortcut for our shortcut in my case this is control space let's 
buy some water and then important command enter and okay this works fine okay now i have an amazing video idea i know not very creative but i keep it simple we have no video idea and no nothing for shopping list but we want to capture some thought oh pay water bill perfectly it's working pretty good the good part if you set it up you can use it on your iphone or ipad so i have a short video i will link it in the description uh, over there you can check it up how to set it up for for your iphone for double tap or triple tap or if you have iphone 15 uh, you can use the uh, the new shortcut button let me know in comments if you want to see something like this but for example notion or another application i hope this shortcut will save you a ton of time i use this shortcut my mac and mostly i use it on my iphone so it's very handy before i use the shortcut only for capture everything and remind us but it took a lot of time to organize in a specific area i came with this idea to make organizing more automatically i saved a lot of time using this shortcut in last couple weeks try it out and you will see it give you more focus and you get more productive because you don't have to switch apps you can just do it on your phone with simple shortcut and you will organize it automatically so you don't have to open the app thank you so much for watching if you want to check up my latest video check out over there and if it was helpful make sure like this video and subscribe and see you in the next one let's do some buy water thank you neighbor